I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and this is the ESO Web TV coverage of day three at the Paris Air and Space Show. <laughs> Wednesday morning saw the launch of the Space Exploration Masters, an international competition that aims to foster business innovation around space exploration activities. The specific objectives are to nurture innovative research and development, to enable the ambitious future exploration missions, while also addressing global societal challenges. The second objective is to engage new actors in space exploration, all from the non-space industry. And the third objective is to showcase how exploration drives innovation, which ultimately benefits society at large. The competition prizes range from business incubation to in-kind support, and even the possibility to run your experiment on the International Space Station. Also on Wednesday, ESA signed a joint statement with over a dozen industry leaders to demonstrate the added value that satellites can bring to 5G service. We have decided to join forces to primarily demonstrate the capability of satellite in some use cases, so in some pilot cases, but that would be represented representative enough of um, operational, if you like, services in the future. And with, based on the result of these uh, trials, we believe that uh, the, um, many t uh, telecom operators will be convinced that uh, satellite should be part of their solution. Networks will be, in the future, more complex than in the past. They will, they will probably be based on a mixture of technologies, including satellites. In the afternoon, the ESA pavilion was visited by Zuhal Demir, the Belgian Secretary of State for Equal Rights, Disabled Persons, Scientific Policy, Urban Policy and Fighting Poverty. The day wrapped up with a discussion on the integration of space into global industry and economy. ESA's Director General and colleagues presented the Grand Challenge, which aims to trigger business in Europe by inviting entrepreneurs and startup companies to exploit ESA's resources to address their specific challenges with unconventional and disruptive approaches. The replay of this and many more of this week's events are available to watch online, so check out our website at www.esa.int. Have a nice day.